Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Battle. In this video, we will solve TCS NQT specific previous year questions. So like, comment, subscribe and share our channel if you are looking more such content. If you are looking for detailed preparation, we have complete master class in which we will cover aptitude, coding, DSA, interview preparation, communication practice, company specific training, projects, latest technologies like full stack development, data science and many other things. For more details, connect with us and do subscribe. And let's now start the session, everybody. For more details, connect with us. Now, let's start the very first question, everybody. All right, let's solve this question. Given a question from profit and loss. Given when a 15% discount is given on an article, then its selling price is 2975. What will be its selling price if two successive discounts of 10.5? are given okay there are a few people who thinks in one way and the other in other way now let's see what exactly people might think okay there is an article so on this article if 15 percent is discount is given and their selling price is 2975 rupees now the question is on the same article if they are giving a successive discounts of 10 and 5 percentage what will be its selling price so 10 percent is n minus 5 percent is discount means minus no? so after giving that total is selling price so mostly what people will think here it's 15 percent is then the selling price is 2975 here also minus 10 minus will give me minus 15 percent is which is nothing but 2975 should be same which is option d and there you go you are wrong this is a wrong answer why why because success of discounts is completely different from individual discounts that everybody so what the success discount says whenever there is a success discount formula you can use this what is it a plus b plus a b by 100 which we have discussed in the master class sessions so a is a first year or first time increase or decrease if it is increase we'll take plus a if it is decrease we'll take minus a similarly b is the second second time or the second year so here a is minus 10 b is minus 5 because first year is discount of minus 10 so that says minus 10 Second is discount is 5, so that says minus 5. Plus of minus 10 into minus 5 upon 100. That's going to give me how much, everybody? Minus 15 and plus of, because minus and minus gets cancelled, that's going to give me 1.5. So minus 15 plus 0.5 will give you how much, everybody? Minus 14.5 discount. T, if it is single discount, it's giving you a 15% is discount. But if it is a successive discount, it is less than that. So when the discount is less than that, everybody, when the discount is less, the selling price will be more than the previous price, everybody. The previous is 2975. So it should be definitely more or less than it, the new price. Right? So since the discount is less, the new price should be more than this. If you observe, 2975 is not at all the right answer because 2975 is not possible because there is a less discount. So if you observe, all are above 2975 only, but what should be it? Look, first discount is 15 percentage. Second discount is minus 14.5, which is very close to 2975, everybody. So the price is also very closely high to 2975. Right, everybody? So that's going to be option C, which is very close. That is 2990. If you want, like, you can ask me, sir, what about A also, which is also very close. The only difference is somewhere around 13 like that. Yeah, we can check if you want it. What we can check everybody, let's see. So now given for discount of minus 15.5 means this minus represents the discount of 14.5 percentage. Then what will be the selling price overall? Everybody, the overall selling price will be 85.5 percentage of uh, 2975. Is it? I know you'll take the same. If you take 85.2975, again you'll get a wrong answer. Why? Look, what you're doing, you are applying a in discount on the selling price can we apply discount on selling price no discount can never be applied on selling price discount should always be on a marker price so you need to know first mark price everybody how we'll get to know using the first statement so again if you do this 85.5 percentage of 2975 which most of the people will do will get a wrong answer so then what is correct sir very simple so initially you are getting a discount of 15 percentage 7275 so can i say 85 percentage of marked price is nothing but 2975 everybody yes or no yes or no correct or not 
because on certain value on an article which is hundred percent of an article, so on this hundred percent they give you a discount of fifteen percentage of discount on the article. Everybody, so that says eighty five percentage of the mark price is two hundred seventy five. So if you calculate this, you'll get the mark price as three thousand five hundred. So on this three thousand five hundred, you are giving a discount of fifteen point fourteen point five. So that resultant selling will be eighty five point five percent as three thousand five hundred, which will give you answer as two nine nine two point five, which is option C. Is that clear, everybody? So don't do such mistakes, guys. So for you only, it's been uh, delivered. So how you have to first find the successive discount, how much is the overall? So after hundred out of hundred percent is. If you are getting a decrement of fourteen point five percentage, the final will be eighty five point five percentage. Everybody for that selling price that should be sold. Correct. So eighty five percent of eighty five point five point five percentage of what of the mark price. So the mark price is defined not using the first given state. That's how you can solve this question. And everybody, hope you understood this. We move on to the next one. Okay, I can definitely say everybody can answer this. You just try it by pausing the video if you want it. Now I hope you tried it by pausing the video. If done, I'll tell you how exactly you solve. Look, the question is very simple, but the main point is how exactly do you answer this question? I know there are many people who started from the first and edited the last and then started reading the question, but that's purely purely waste of time because you have only one question. Now, when you have one question, why do you read everything? Is it required? Are you getting any uh, additional marks for answering one question? No. So first we'll go with our Very very lovable approach that is hunter approach. We have already discussed this multiple times, and many people love this, right? So what is this hunter? We hunt for the question. So the question we read first. We never read the given data, everybody. So the question says, why is it surprising that Royal Bengal tigers can run fast and climb trees? Tigers that can run fast and climb trees. Why? So I don't read everything, everybody. I skim through the process. Or the through the paragraph and find out only where this running fast and climb and trees will be there. Now, if you just go through skimming is just nothing but going through everybody. Where you'll find this? Now, if you observe here over here, tigers can run at a speed of sixty kilometers per hour and also climb trees. Now, people, what where the reason will be either in the front or answer or either in the front sentence or in the like next sentence. Now, is it required to read this everything? Now, everybody, no, it's simply a waste of time. If there is any question, we'll read. For that also, they'll provide another data. Then why to waste time by reading the question which is unnecessary by reading the data which is unnecessary or not required? So now let's stop this. We have saved lot of time, everybody, by not reading this, by not understanding this. So it is not required. Now let's see this. Despite its heavy body, okay, here itself the reason is given before. Before this, despite its heavy body, this tiger, what tiger, everybody? The Royal Bengal Tiger, the Royal, this tiger. They are talking about the Royal Bengal Tiger only. So this typically weighs three hundred kilograms. Despite its heavy body, the heavy body talks about the three hundred kilograms. Weighs above it. So it's approximately. So despite its heavy weight, uh, the the tiger can run at a speed of sixty kilos per hour. Now also can raise for its uh, prevent necessary. So that says clearly, everybody, what is the reason? Are they majestic? They have given a majestic creatures, but is it the reason? No. The reason is why why they are able to climb even though they are. Like majestic because of its huge weight of around two hundred to three hundred kilograms. I hope you all understood how we can answer this question. It's not because of the tall and uh, feet tall. It is not about it because of the heavy body. Heavy body means weight, which is about three hundred. So that's why two hundred three hundred kilograms. So my whole point here is anybody can answer this question, but the point is don't read everything that is given. Go to the hunter approach and try only reading the data that is required. Skim through the process. Concerned on whatever it is required. Got it, everybody? Hope you understood this approach, everybody, and you have thoroughly understood it. So, thank you for watching this video, everybody.